Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you my version of my twist out and the way that I'm doing it, you can get a perfect defined twist out, but I kind of break mine apart so you might not really see that. And right now I'm just splitting my hair into three sections and I kind of want my hair to fall to the front even though it's short, so I'm making a half U part. Now I'm just adding my Kiki Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. The size that I'm going for is medium, not too big, not too small. And I believe the way to get the best definition is to make sure that every inch of your hair is coated. I'm just taking it to sections and making sure that I give each section some moisturizer. And I'm using Shea Moisture Curly Enhancing Smoothie. And I just mix that with a little Eco Styling Gel and I think some coconut oil. And you will see a lot of white product. But don't be scared, don't be worried because this will not show up when everything is dry. But make sure that your twists are fully dry so you can have the best definition. Now I'm just taking a small tooth comb so that I can comb out my ends because they are so hard to deal with and I'm just twisting the ends I twist at the top somewhat tightly and then keep my fingers closer towards the top of the twist and make sure everything is smoothed down And then at the bottom, I'm just going to brush or comb it out because the ends are super thick. And I don't know if anybody else has this problem with their hair. It would be nice to know I'm not the only one. But yeah, just add a little bit more um, Eco Styler Gel and twist it at the bottom. Now I'm going to take some coconut oil just to give my hair shine. Now I'm going to unravel it the opposite way and show you guys how I break it apart and also show you the great definition I get from it. And I'm going to kind of scare you guys a little bit because I'm just going to be pulling it apart, which is against the twist rule. But if you guys want a more defined uh, twist out, then I would just say break each part like separated at least three times but I like my hair to be kind of big and a little fuller but I can always um, do another video to show you guys how it looks when I don't break it break it apart as much but the definition is amazing and it's so beautiful and as you can see there's no residue from the products that I use and it's very bouncy and not like crunchy. I'm trying to show you guys how I pull it apart again and this is just how I untangle it and the key is to make sure that when you're twisting it, twisting it that you don't get the other strand from the other side of the twist inside of the other twist so don't like infuse them together like make sure that they're separated while you're twisting it if that makes any sense but yeah as you can see there is no crunch and it's very loose and bouncy and I hope when you try it this is how your twist out will come out because I was very happy with my results and I'm just going to fluff it a little bit right here just a little bit and I'm going to use both my Gorilla Snot and my Eco Styler Gel, but Eco Styler Gel first, and I'm gonna lay it down so that I don't have to use as much Gorilla Snot on my edges. But I like this combination. And 
and here you can see the Gorilla Snipe giving my hair a little bit more definition in the front and it just helps my fluffy hair in the front lay down like I want it to and I use a hard bristle brush because my hair is just too thick so and I'm using my little head scarf to hold it down and I think I let it stay like this for about 30 40 minutes and I think the best time for you guys to do this is when you're not really doing anything just let it sit for as long as you can now I'm going to take it down and show you guys my final results I was really happy with how it came out and how flat my hair laid down and it looks 10 times better when your edges are like laid. But thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you haven't and subscribe and thank you guys for watching. Bye. See you in my next video.